I'm Dong Li Dong from the uh, Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, you, uh, I'm not the author of the, this work, but they, they has some problem of, of their visa, so I represent them to present this work. And uh, the progress of the, the uh, the progress of deep learning has enabled a lot of interesting devices and also inspired the study of uh, energy efficient machine learning accelerators. Uh, existing uh, machine le uh, learning uh, accelerators may focus on the server end uh, for the big data analysis or modeling training. But this year, there is an obvious trend that people are hop hoping to scale down the machine learning technology and customize the hardware architecture, make them uh, work for the low-end devices, such as the vulnerable IoT devices, these cutting-edge devices, desired uh, machine in intelligence, but has very strict overhead uh, constraint and a power budget. Instead of using conventional hardware solutions like CPU or GPU, and uh, lightweight machine learning accelerators implemented as ASIC may be the uh, feasible solution way out. Uh, 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 besides the ability to do uh, conventional machine learning tasks, the neural net network can also be used to uh, accelerate general purpose program. For some workloads that are too expensive to be executed on the CPU core, it could be uh, approximated with the neural network and offloaded to the uh, artificial neural network core, reaping a performance speed up. The, comput uh, the computation intensive but uh, error tolerant code can be replaced by neural network. The benchmark includes uh, approximate bench from University of Washington and the AX bench from the Georgia Tech. Uh, the, the most popular, uh, as the most popular open source uh, processors choice, RISC-V cores are also expected to provide neural network inference support for the user who demand energy efficient machine learning ability to process their sensors or media uh, date on the uh, edge. In this week work, we attempt to design a, a tightly coupled low power neural network inference uh, accelerators uh, integrated into the risk file call with the uh, framework of rocket chip generator and take advantage of the freedom to extend the coprocessor instructions that allow the uh, CPU core a sh a shameless uh, in interacts with the neural accelerator. And, and the left part of the, is the original definition of uh, RCC interface. The introduced uh, neural accelerator is uh, connected to the raw core as well as the uh, shared L1D cache through RCC interface. The red finger, uh, figure shows the interfacing signals we used between the accelerators and the core, including uh, the command signals, uh, ex exception signals, IRQ signals, and the busy signals. And uh, this page shows some uh, technical details on the communication between the uh, core and the accelerator and the com communication between the accelerator and the L1 D cache. And uh, uh, interfacing signals between the accelerator and the core, including the in queue commands carried in instruction uh, re uh, register one and register two. And the accelerator has access to the L1 D cache to process the code generated data with the neural network. And this space came to the uh, came to the uh, instruction side. There may uh, there are three main type of the extended instructions for the accelerators. And the first kind is the NPE instructions. Uh, it's designed for the accelerator initialization and uh, innovation. 
And uh, the second can is the DMA instructions, and uh, it's designed for the data uh, initialization in the buffer. It's for the loading uh, neural parameters and input. And the third one is the AGU instructions. It's for the data streaming from the buffer to the processing element. And the inner architecture of the neural accelerators is a typical one-dimensional systolic uh, array engine. It includes eight processing units. Each processing unit has a complete ALU and a local storage unit. So they could carry out uh, MAC operations in lockstep, and the whole network is executed on them layer by layer. Uh, while the layer will be folded into um, patches and uh, executed on them in a time uh, multiplexing way. For uh, complex uh, operations like activation functions, we use a, a reconfigurable lookup table to fulfill its tasks, like the sigmoid act activation and tenant um, function and so on. Uh, a good feature of a one-dimensional systolic uh, array, array is that uh, it had uh, have a very good data reusable than other architectures. Uh, the, the neural parameters follows in, flows in from the left and the data activation input from the top, and the intermediate uh, result will move from one PE to next PE on the right, and uh, accumulated into the final activation from the next layer, largely uh, reducing the numbers of local storage access, and this is important for the power constrained chip we uh, target. And uh, uh, implemented, uh, implemented uh, uh, accelerators ma manufactured with the 55 uh, nanometer process technology, which delivers an average of three GOPS performance together with the core in realistic workloads. In, uh, in evaluations, we use the SOC uh, with both the risk core and the uh, neural accelerators to execute the uh, uh, approach bench, which is the benchmarks issued by uh, AX Bench, and it's a it's a it's CPU applications uh, site to evaluate the approximate uh, computing system. We found that when uh, executing the uh, approximated benchmarks on our neural uh, accelerators, uh, our platform will receive at two times speed up overhead the ARM uh, A9 uh, dual core without the neural uh, approximation performance and it saves over 80% uh, of the energy. And this is the conclusion. Uh, LCC interface provides the efficient neural accelerator to core communication mechanism and the RCC instructions set, uh, in, in, uh, set uh, intentions provides an effective solution of the uh, extending neural instruction for a neural uh, accelerator design. And the one-dimensional uh, systolic array is an energy efficient solution to a low power neural network interference on the low end devices. Thank you.